Good afternoon and welcome back to Buster Boom. Brand new season, brand new ground, loads to get through. First two games of the season coming up as well. West Hallway and Brighton at home. And you know what? Let's get straight into the signings. And we'll talk a little bit about the ground. The ground's still called the Darlington Stadium. And there's a reason for that. Uh, it's because I did try and change it there for a second and it just didn't work. <laughs> so we will fix that uh, in the next few days. It's going to be called Feetums, but let's go with the signings first. First of all... I'm going to struggle with this one. We're going to call him Matanovic. Yeah, cost me four million. Red star Belgrade. Three and a half star Kruns. He's already a good player for most Premier League teams. Five star potential. This boy looks special. First touch 17. Passing 16. Technique 17. Vision 17. Great deep line playmaker. Advanced playmaker. Can play in a Mazzala role. 4.4 million, I think he was. Four, 4 million. What a, I think that's a great sign. He's going to be worth a hell of a lot of money. Serbians are always very good in this game. For some reason, you always pick up some good Serbians. Next, Callum McKay. Pick this guy up for 200 grand. He is going to be one for the future. I always click back there, don't I? But he can play in centre-back and play in midfield there. Decisions are great. Determination's good. Very brave. Passing's decent. His tackling he's worked on, but he's only young, 19. You know, great potential, five-star potential. I think he's a great player for the future. We've had a lot of players go out as well. Um... They're only on loan. Salcedo, we'll get to those anyway. Like I said, there's a lot of players coming. Um, Kielmans has come in from, I don't know what, it's some Belgium team. KV Mechelen. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. In fact, I know what a Belgian guy watches this. If you can tell me how to pronounce that, that'd be fantastic. But three and a half star Kronz ability can play centre midfield, attacking midfielder. We have changed the system a little bit for this season. We're going a little bit more adventurous in attacking. Good acceleration, great agility, decent pace, determination of 20, off the ball 16. Could do with improving these, you know, passing and technique a little bit, but a good player. 23 years old, only young. Alvaro Ruiz, again, one for the future. 19 years old, Spanish can play centre midfield, play centre back. Uh, tackling 14 already, positioning 14. Good Physicals there, except his jump and reach is rubbish. Can't really head the ball, which is a struggle. It's going to be bad for a centre back. Not very tall. He's going to end up. He's going to end up playing right back. But again, youngsters come in. He's not on a great deal of money. Worth 550k. I thought, you know, why not? Let's bring him in. This one here, new centre back, Geronimo. He's obviously um, Native American, but strength 17. He's three and a half star Collins ability, four star potential. Worth 10.75 million. We pick up for 8.25. So he's already. Worth more than he was. Tackling 17. Strength 17. Position 17. Marking 14. Heading 14. Natural fitness 19. His jump and reach is a bit poor, but he's going to play at centre back for us. I think I think he's another good player. Only 22. We're picking up all these youngsters because we can't get the established players. We can't pay enough money for them. And that's the problem. Uh, this one, a little bit disappointed with this one because he was a he was coming as a sign, whatever the price, but and I did, I signed him for 6.25 million, which is a fair bit of money from Genoa. I've lost him again here. Right winger, he's going to come in as backup because I've signed a better player. And I'll, my long-term targets, I've actually signed him. But you look here, dribbling 16, first touch 16, technique 17, off the ball 17. He's a good player, but we have signed better. It's a sign of the times that we've signed better. Luciano Fontana, again, he's a right back. He's been right back cover, three-star currency, four-star potential. Decision 16, pace 17, his tackling needs work. He's only young though. Already worth 5 million. We brought him for 2.4. We haven't spent big bucks on anyone really, apart from the last one, which I'm sure you can see. Then this guy really frustrates me. I wanted to buy him, and Real Madrid accepted the offer. The only one was 6.25 million. I thought, brilliant. I'll get this boy in. Looks great. He, do, he wouldn't come, but he'd come on loan. So I brought him in on loan. Look at his physical. So acceleration 17, agility 17, balance 16, pace 17, stamina 17. Can't jump at all. Technique 16, tackling's okay. He's going to be a good left back, isn't he? I needed a left back and I needed a right back. So he's come in there. I think he looked really, really promising. Next one then. Before we get to the big one, Matthias has come in. He's a central midfielder. Three and a half star currents, but see again, they told me he was five star, but never mind. First touch 16, passing 14, technique 18, composure 16. He's going to be a good backup for the central midfield there. And the last one, Alan Simpson. English, which is a major thing, can play on both wings, can play up front as well. Three and a half star currents, but see five star potential. Look at this, acceleration 16, pace 17, agility, balance, first touch, dribbling. Absolutely superb player. I've wanted him for a long time. 17.5 million we paid for him. I think he is a great player. 
going out, I've got some really weird goings out. David Farley went out to Leicester. They paid eight million for him. Four star potential. One and a half star currency. I picked him up for free last year, I think. There you go. Got him for free. He played at South End on loan. And they paid eight million pounds for him. Madness. Who else has gone out? Scott Robertson, never played. He came in for free. He's gone out to Hull. 2.2 million. No brainer there. Uh, Richard Tibble went out. Got rid of Reese Bennett as well. And we've got another couple due to go out. Uh, it's funny, Noel, Noel came back and he's better this season for some reason. And let's have a look, quick look where they think we're going to finish in the league. I haven't actually looked at this yet. Composition-wise, let's get in here. We've always got nobody in the Dream 11. So season preview here. There's nobody in the Dream 11. Do we have any key, more key? We've got see Matovic has now gone up. Key player. D yeah, there we go. We've got some higher ups here. They're finished. <laughs> Still think we're going to finish bottom. <laughs> we're in the Europa League as well, which isn't going to help. Uh, it's not Europa League, Euro Europa League 2 this time round because whoever won the FA Cup, which I can't remember who did win it, but they were in the Europa League place and it basically fell down to us next. Who we finished fifth? Was it City? Was it? Oh, we finished sixth, did we? It must have been City. But yeah, we improved the team, but they still think we're going to finish bottom, which is excellent. So why not? So the team we're going to go with today, a bit of a change, but. We've gone to this formation. This could come on still. We get battered here by West Ham. We're going to go with Adesi, Nugent to start with, Theo Simpson on the other wing, Matanovic, Simons, Vibora, Barrios, Michaelis, Bell, and Leishman. Bell moves into that right back role. He can actually do that really well. So I thought, why not? His marking's good. His tackling's good. His balance has gone down a bit, and he's gone down to four star potential. But let's get out there. Everyone's lacking match fitness. Why not? Uh, let's give Matthias a squad number as well. He can be number 33. So we have a much bigger squad this time. Uh, I, I, just, I really do think we've improved, but we'll see. Watch us get absolutely humped by West Ham here. Look at their team, though. Jada Silva's there. Lewis Gibson. Um, Suchek's still there, full enough. Von Owls is still there. Howell, he's a boy I wanted to sign, but couldn't. Uh, where are we? Come on, lads, show what you can do. You know what? Pump fists, say that. You can hear my cat in the background meowing like a... Mentalist, um, don't, yeah, you know what, you can do that. Our ground, it's funny, I, like I said, I did try and change the name, but it actually changed the language <laughs> of the game. I did put it in the right place, same as I did last time, but it just didn't seem to work. Ball into the box, it's headed clear, Theo picks it up, carries it forward, he's in a more advanced role this time round, but we do have two players that can play there now, in fact, quite, quite a few. Theo's into the box, cuts it back to Simpson, and there we go, on his debut, second goal of the season. I don't know why he's got a second goal this season. Because he we, this is our first game, but there we go. 1-0. Did he play for Norwich? He must have played for Norwich. And maybe it was Euro Cup 2 or qualifiers or something. Who knows? But there we go. Back to Simpson. He slammed it in. That's 1-0 already. I told you. Definitely improved the team. Simpson was the boy that played for Newcastle. The season we didn't go. We lost in the playoffs. And he was absolutely superb. He scored about 40 goals that season for them. And I've always wanted him. He did go back and been scouting for a while. Uh, teams that came up, Blackburn obviously came up there. Who else? Uh, Black, oh, just Blackburn, I can think of off the top of my head. Sheffield United, I think. Or did we play them last season? Funals, Suchek, De Silva. Cut it back to Suchek. Funals again. Come on, boys, get a foot in. Ball into the box, and it's one all. Jonathan Howell, the boy who pointed out that I wanted to sign, scores the goal. Unfortunately, they wanted about fifty million for him though. Would you take a draw away at West Ham first game of the season? Not really. We beat United first game of the season last time around. But J.D. Silva, good ball into the box and it's a good finish. And who's this here? We've got some very small centre-backs now, which doesn't help. I don't want to see it again. It's definitely not offside. Anyway, one all. West Ham are a decent team at this level, are they? They've never beaten us, though. They have got another throw in here. Bowen to Martin. Into the box for Niles. Martin again. Back in, we've got a clear. Simpson's got it this time, and we know he's quick. He's a tall lad as well. He gets out to Nugent. Nugent, can he square it? He can't. Squares it again. Adesi, Simpson again, and there we go, 2-0. Simpson with, oh, it's going to be offside, isn't it? It's going to be offside, but Simpson's showing just how good he is. We know it's going to give it as disallowed. It was Adesi offside, I think. Don't mind me, it's, it's, it's getting late, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Very professional there, yawning. Corner into the box. Come on, boys, just get it out. And so headed over the bar. I really didn't think about the size of my players, did I? When I was picking centre backs, so they're both midgets. But then Thomas Marlon wasn't that, that tall, and he was good. 
13 shots. I mean, I say we're starting to dominate games, but we're not doing badly. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll say that. We've got players to come off the bench as well. Plenty of players to come off the bench. Nobody's having a bad game, really. Um, Matanovic isn't having the best of games, but you know he's not he's not doing too badly. We all look to bring, bring players on in a second, though. Uh, Barrios isn't playing too well. He was my, my great hope for this season in, at centre-back. I thought he may really improve things. Theo's got the ball, though. Back heel, into the box, and there we go. Odessi with the goal, 2-1. That was a good bit of play, and that's a great ball in for Vibora. From what we call just call him Delar. <laughs> He's de, Delar, dead scouts, isn't he? Like Delar. But yeah, Vibora with, with, with the throw. So yeah, look at this for a little back heel. Cheeky. Pick, and look at that for a ball. Adesi gets there, uh, and it's a headed in. 2 1. And I'm glad Adesi scored because I was worried about we didn't bring any strikers in, although Simpson can play up top. He's not off. How could he be offside? Why would you even look at that? Daft thing to do. There we go, 2 1 up. We'll look to bring on some fresh legs in a second. Midfielders look like they could do with a bit of a G and up. So let's get Matanovic off and bring on Matthias. Let's give Matthias a go there. Very similar players. Uh, and who else? New just not having the best of games. So we do, we'll do this. Yeah, we'll swap those two round and make, make him an inside forward, shall we? We've got loads of options. Even, even players not in the squad. Dalibor's given it. Will I bring Dalibor on? Do I dare? Hey, well, you know what, we will. We will. He was good for us last season. Simpson's knackered now as well, which is great. Why not? I've made all my subs. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do? But there we go. First game of the season. First win. Fairly pleased with that. We made some great signers. 21 shots. They've had slightly better XG, but we've had more of the ball. We've been the better team there. Well, but good, ball, good win, boys. Well done. Actually, I'm really pleased with that. I thought we'd made too many signings, but, you know, look at the size of the ground. Now, what are we saying in the media? Billy Wilkins just got back from the match, did not see that coming. What a result, can't believe it. I don't understand why they think we're going to finish bottom. You know, we've gone out and played like that, away from home. Why do, why do they think we're going to finish bottom? It, it's bizarre to me. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll click onto this Brighton game here. Is anything happening there? Let me have a look. Uh, Simpson scores on the debut, he did. Theo, oh, you know what? Theo played play, play well. Well done. Well done, Theo. Um, I'll have a look at the scout meeting in a second. Diagino still... Did he miss a penalty? He did, he missed a penalty. Poor Diagino. But anyway, I'm going to click onto the Brighton game, and I'll see you on the second. Welcome back then for the Brighton game. No changes made. We had a player go out, though. Ingleson went out for one and a half million. You know what? He was never going to play this season, given the amount of players we've got on the bench down here and not in the squad. So we're going to go the same team. Adesi, Nugent, Theo, Simpson, Matanovic. I'm going to struggle with this on. Matanovic, Simons, <laughs> Vibora, Barrios, Michaelis, Bell and Leishman. Brighton are an interesting team. Remember they finished, what, well, second last year? So they're a good team. Um, we might struggle here. I haven't said that. I don't know any of their players, really. Um, Lamptey. He's still Dean Henderson, I suppose, but that's about it. Uh, come on, boys. Paul Fisk got there and impressed me. And let's get let's get our second win of the season. That'd be a good start, wouldn't it? Two wins out of two. Look at our new ground. Look at this. Only holds thirteen thousand apparently. It looks huge. Anyway, adesi has got it. Gives it to Matanovic. Out wide to Delabora. Vibora again. Can he get a ball into the box? Got a ball across to Simpson, and we've hit the post. Vibora looks like a great player. He's tiny, isn't he? But he's a great player. Arsenal already 3-0 up, or they won 3-0 at Spurs. That'll go down well in North London. Uh, we've had two shots. They've had none yet. We've got another corner here. Corner into the box. Barrios is there, and it's headed over. I might change that, because obviously those two centre-backs aren't very tall. So, But Theo crosses the box. It's caught by Henderson. I thought he was going to drop it then. Henderson hoofs the ball forward. Gelhart, they're not going to score this route one, are they? He's into the box, he's had a shot straight at Leishman. That's the other thing, I should have changed Leishman this season. Uh, he's only considered a decent championship, or good championship goalkeeper. But there was a few offers for goalkeepers went out, but we've got no money now. Until we sell a couple of players, we've got nothing at all. But if has got it again, and we have to be saying he's a good player, he gives the ball away to Gelhart. Gelhart's through, and he's hit the inside of the post. And well done, Bell has really bailed us out there. Good lad. Brighton are coming back into it a little bit more now. Livermotto, Livermotto McAllister, 
Uh, I'm not saying that. Uh, <laughs> all that. <laughs> what we're doing here? It's over the bar anyway. Thankfully, it's over the bar. The board has agreed to increase the size of the stadium by the end of the season to 19,000, but still, it's not big enough for what we want. Nugent with the ball. We know he's quick. We know he can win a penalty, and he's got one. I mean, <laughs> I'm psychic. I'm telling you. He only plays to win a penalty. That's all he does. He just wins penalties. Although we have had these where it's been checked and it's not a penalty, but I'm pretty sure this is definitely a penalty. He was definitely in the box. Go on, do the penalty awarded. There we are. Nugent, the absolute superstar at penalties. Well done, lad. Oh, Theo steps up and smashes it home, and it's 1 0 in our first game at the Darlington Stadium. Yes, it's definitely going to be changed. But look at the ground, it's all black and white. It's great. I am wearing my Darlington top, by the way. It's just very, very cold. You know, I did say I'd wear it, didn't I? It's freezing. So I've got to put the hoodie on. Just live in hoodies at the moment until the summer. And then live in football tops. You just have a parade of different football shirts. Millions of trammy ones, of course, but. Anyway. 40 minutes in. We've played a decent game so far. McAllister. I can't say his name either. If that had gone in, that would have been special. <laughs> An overhead kick there from Livramonto. It wasn't far off. But bear in mind, these boys in the Champions League this season. They're going to massively struggle, aren't they? If they could struggle against us. Nugent's there, not giving away a penalty. Good lad. Hoofs it forward to Odessi to chase. He doesn't get there. Can we get the ball back? Mengi. Ball out to... What's his name? Retsos. Livramento. Lamptey. Come on, boys. Get the ball off him. Don't let him cross. We stopped the cross. Nugent. Matinovic. Vibora. Hoofs it forward to Odessi. Odessi can't quite take it down. He should be able to. He's a strong lag and he's a deep lying forward. Gerhardt, McAllister, Livermento, and it's one all. It's a good finish. It's a good bit of play, to be honest. He's drawn his defenders out and through to Livermento, and he's finished it well. Like I said, they are in the Champions League this season. <laughs> look at the way he's come in there. Nobody's followed him. I mean, Vibora should be on to that. I mean, look at the size of him as well. He's just tiny. Come on, boys. We're doing all right. Quick look at the stats. 8 3, 11 6. We've got. Okay, we've had the penalty. We've had more of the ball. Let's say. We've been the better team here. I'd say we marginally have. But, you know, Vibora, Nugent, Matanovic. Vibora's got it back. Is he going to have a shot? He's not. He's going to give the ball away again. That's twice now. Diata. So, obviously, he's not very good at defending. He's great going forward. And don't give away a penalty there. It boards the box. And it's 2 1. Livramento with his second goal of the game. He must be good, mustn't he? Let's have a quick look at him. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, he should be getting the ball there. Michaelis, it's his, it's his fault. If the ball's in front of him, just kick it out. And again, Vibora. Is he going to become a liability at the back there? Livramento, let's have a quick look at him. I mean, he's not even that good. You know what? 41 million he's worth he's English what kind of English name is Valentin, Valentina Livermento it's a strange world we live in right come on boys let's go attacking let's get at them take a win and a draw take, take a win and a draw <laughs> that's what we're losing ball forward Livermento gets there ahead of he's just torturing isn't he but Adesi's got it Adesi gives it back to Nugent Nugent into the box get us a penalty it's deflected into the hands of Henderson. Oh. Spurs have lost both their games, though, to be fair. Theo, ball into the box. Flicked on by Nugent. And Adesi's there. Two all. Two goals for Adesi. Did he score the other one? Am I going mad? Didn't, did he? No, he didn't. Theo scored the penalty. Second goal of the season, anyway. At the back post. Knocks it back in. Well played, Nugent. Not sure why Nugent's there. And he's not like he's known for his heading ability. Another corner. Theo into the box. What happened there? Matt Hanford just scored a goal. But was that his head? Did he volley that? Let's watch, I have to watch that back. I'm not entirely sure what happened. Ball comes into the box. It's nodded back. Look at that for a finish. That is agility 101. That. He has nearly broke his legs to that goal. 3-2, let's go back down to... Let's go to balance here. 
Lamptey's got the ball. This is a good game, isn't it? Start the season off with a few goals. Bell heads it to Theo. Theo brings it forward. Simons to Simpson. He hasn't had much. He hasn't been involved in the game much. Oof, just over the bar. Tell you what, we're, we're doing well. That's just, is anyone knackered? We need to get some subs on here. Um, Simpson's not having the best of games. Let's bring Preven so on. And who else isn't playing well? Bell's not having a great game. Vibora's not having the bad game, considering he's been at fault for both goals. We are. Fourth of the league, beating Brighton. Got another corner. Corner into the box, and it's headed just over the bar. Look at Thiago Dantas playing for Brighton. He was a wonder kid a few years ago. He was absolutely superb. I think it was FM 18, was it? Maybe even 19. Ball into the box, and there's an equaliser. Oh. We should have put away our chances. We should have put away our chance. Let's not go be daft here and concede. At least you grounds open with a good game. Again, for Bora, beaten twice. Balls into the box and Diati. And Bell's just not followed his man. It's poor defenders. And I, I was worried about our right and left back this season. And it's proven to be true. Uh, but you know what? I win in the draw to start the season. A draw against a team in the Champions League? I can't really complain, can you? You were lucky today. It's a good game. Some good performances there. Despite the rest of... Da, 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 is it number of, are you pleased the outcome? Yeah, go away. Go away. Let's see, so, social media said, what's everyone going on about? The match wasn't even anything special. It was a great match, Barley Man. So obviously the players thought they'd won that, where it's so complacent. Absolutely devastated. Like, you know what? Our fans are moan. Absolute moan, aren't they? Anyway... Dundalk at 20k from Nugent transfer deal. What? Oh, he's played 50 games for us. He has signed a new deal. Uh, the Darlington State. I need, to, I need to fix this. I don't know what to do. I don't know why it hasn't. I do have the thing. Can I show you? Where's it gone? The notepad. Uh, I'll fix it anyway. When are we coming back? I'll show you the table quickly because there's only two games gone. We are fifth. Four points from six games. Six games? Two games? Four points from six points. Four points out of six. I've lost my mind. Anyway, it was better than last year because we were three from the first two games. Although we had played better teams. Uh, schedule why when we coming back? I don't know when the Europa League draw is. So if the Europa League game is in September, somewhere we'll come back for that. If not, we'll come back for Man United and Sheffield United. That's what we'll do. Anyway, big start to the season. I think it's a good start to the season. We sound some good players there. If you're enjoying this, <laughs> it's stressful. I'll tell you that transfer window was stressful. But if you are enjoying this, please let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, really appreciate you watching. And I'll see you all again tomorrow.